The flag of the United Nations was adopted on December 7, 1946, and consists of the official emblem of the United Nations in white on a blue background. Topic: <laughs> Design. The emblem's design is described as a map of the world representing an azimuthal equidistant projection centered on the North Pole, inscribed in a wreath consisting of crossed conventionalized branches of the olive tree. The projection of the map extends to 60 degrees south latitude, and includes five concentric circles. The olive branches are a symbol for peace, and the world map represents all the people and the countries of the world. White and blue are the official colors of the United Nations. Topic: History. The organizers of the 1945 United Nations Conference on International Organization in San Francisco, California, wanted an insignia that could be made into a pin to identify delegates. United States Secretary of State Edward Stettinius Jr. was chairperson of the U.S. delegation and realized that a temporary design might become the permanent symbol of the United Nations. He formed a committee headed by Oliver Lundquist that developed a design consisting of a world map surrounded by leaves from a design created by Donald McLaughlin. McLaughlin had previously worked as chief of graphics for the Office of Strategic Services that preceded the CIA. The azimuthal equidistant projection used in his design was heavily influenced by the maps created during World War II by Richard Eads Harrison, a popular cartographer working for Fortune and Life. The blue that appears in the background of the insignia was chosen to be the opposite of red, the war color, although the exact shade has never been officially specified by the United Nations. The original color the group chose in 1945 was a gray-blue that differs from the current United Nations flag. The globe used in the original design was an azimuthal projection focused on the North Pole with the United States, the host nation of the conference, at the center. The projection that was used cut off portions of the southern hemisphere at the latitude of Argentina, which was acceptable at the time, as Argentina was not planned to be an original member of the United Nations. The projection was later altered so that no country will be at prominence within the flag. The new logo was now designed so that the globe is bisected in the center by the prime meridian and the international date line. In 1946, a UNO committee got the task of making a definite design, which was presented December 2, 1946, and adopted by the plenary session of the UNO on December 7, 1946. The earlier version had the globe 90 degrees turned eastward compared with the present flag, which has the prime meridian and the international date line forming the vertical diameter. According to press statements, the change was made to move North America away from the center of the emblem. Topic. Use According to the Convention on the Safety of United Nations and Associated Personnel, the emblem and the flag of the United Nations can be used by the personnel and material of UN peacekeeping missions as a protective sign to prevent attacks during an armed conflict. The United Nations flag may also be flown as a garrison flag with other country flags. Garrison size is 10 feet by 30 feet. Topic. Derived flags Topic. Agencies and organizations The flag of the World Food Programme has the olive leaves of the UN flag, with a hand clutching grains in the center, in place of the globe. The white, blue colors of the UN flag are reversed in the WFP flag. Topic. Country flags The flag of Somalia, with central symbol a five-pointed star, uses the UN's blue color in honor of the UN's help in gaining Somalia's independence. The UNTACUN administration of Cambodia used UN colors. Topic. Proposed flags 
Perhaps the most popular proposed flag of Antarctica, the Graham Bartram design, uses the UN colors, consisting of a plain white representation of the continent on a blue background. A number of proposed flags of Bosnia and Herzegovina used UN colors. A proposed flag for a United Nations Parliamentary Assembly uses the same colors and olive branches and uses the cartographic elements of the globe to create what appear to be parliamentary benches. The plot of the 1946 future history novel When Smuts Goes, by Arthur Keppel Jones, culminates with a UN-sponsored military intervention in South Africa to topple white minority rule. In the book, UN forces are depicted as flying a four-color, four freedoms flag. The book was first published in 1947, when the UN had already adopted its present flag, but Keppel Jones did not update this detail in his manuscript. Use outside UN The UN flag is depicted in the background of former UN Secretary General Dag Hammarskjöld on Sweden's 1000 Swedish krona banknote, the currency's highest denomination. The banknotes have been in circulation since October 2015. <laughs> 